I'm Dana K. White, author of Decluttering at the Speed of Life and the new book that comes out um, January 11th called Organizing for the Rest of Us. That book you can check out at aslobcomesclean.com slash restofusbook. I'm assuming it's here somewhere. Um, and find out how to pre-order, which is anywhere books are sold, all the formats, and how to grab pre-order bonuses. Okay, here we go. I'm talking about doom boxes. So started getting emails, messages from people in the last couple of weeks saying, have you seen people talking about doom bags and doom boxes on TikTok? Well, I'm not on TikTok because I'm not cool, but um, I immediately knew what they were talking about. And the messages were saying, hey, your method works perfect for, perfectly for doom boxes and doom bags. And I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. it's random boxes. So I actually ran across a doom box. <laughs> I'm assuming this is what it's talking about um, in our move recently. So I'm in my new closet. It's not that big. That's a mirror. Um, anyway, I'm here and I'm going through a box because I was like, oh, I know what doom boxes are. And then I was, I opened up this random box and y'all, I don't even know. I'm thinking this is probably a keep box from a decluttering project that I did years ago before I came up with my process that eliminates the keep box. I do not use a keep box because they end up being doom boxes for me. A keep box means a box that you just put things in because you want to keep them. Instead, I take things where they go, immediately deal with each item as I come across it so that I don't end up with a keep box because that for me is a doom box. Okay, so I started doing this video earlier. A couple things I'm not gonna be surprised at because um, I'm having to redo them, but they were really fun. Anyway, so my first step in my process is trash. So I just look for trash because that gets me looking at the item because one of my issues with doom boxes is that with any type of box like that, I'm assuming I'm using the term correctly, um, is that I don't even wanna look. I just go, that's a whole bunch of decisions for me to make. I There's probably really important stuff in there. I don't wanna look at it. I don't wanna deal with it. So I make myself look because most of the time, once I look, I go, oh my goodness, I can get rid of half of this stuff with zero emotion and then it's less overwhelming. So I just make myself look. Um, but I look for trash that gets me looking at it. It also gets me moving in a moment where I feel paralyzed in this whole decluttering process, being overwhelmed, and it starts to reduce the overall volume of mess. So I'm gonna look for some trash. I did not actually get that out earlier. So I am just looking, okay, yes. Here is the, uh-huh, it's an instruction booklet for a camera I have not used in years. Okay. I don't even know where, if I have it anymore. I probably don't. Okay. Other, yeah, Sunday school papers from my kids who are now ages 15 to 19. <laughs> I don't think they need that. Um, okay. Actual junk, like, these look like um, hand wipes that got whatever. Okay. This, I'm going to call this trash. I don't know what it is. Looks like some sort of gla uh, plastic frame thing. This is my family games book was like a kid's meal prize years ago. Um, okay, see, look, I, this was paper. I thought, well, maybe that's trash. It's not paper. It's actually a um, photo thing. And I go, oh, not trash. Okay, I'm not dealing with that right now. I'm just looking for the trash because that gets me in there and starting to reduce the overall volume of the mess. Okay, and when I say trash, I'm not talking about like trashes, trash that I'm making decisions is trash. I'm talking about obvious trash. Okay, so I have got magazines, receipts that have completely faded into nothingness. Yeah, all these things are trash. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put those in my trash bag. I usually like to use a black trash bag because if it's black, then I can't see what I put inside of it and decide later that um, it was my favorite thing ever and I've got to keep it. But for now, I didn't have one available right there. So I did that. Okay, so now I'm just going to look for Easy stuff that has an established home somewhere else. Okay, so trash is the easiest of the easy stuff. It gets me going. Um, the next thing I would do is things that have established homes. I'm in a new house. Um, things don't have established homes, but if it's like, oh, okay, well, obviously this is gonna go here. I will go ahead and get rid of that. But this is stuff that's been in a box for, I'm gonna say at least 12 years because I don't do keep boxes anymore, right? So um, I'm gonna kind of, Maybe I'll find some easy stuff as I go, but I'm gonna go ahead and look for duh clutter, which my guess is that almost everything in here is duh clutter. Duh clutter is just the clutter that 
Like I don't have to ask myself decluttering questions. I don't have to think hard about, I'm just like, oh, obviously that should go like, adorable, right? Oh my word. I don't remember my kids ever playing with this because maybe it was in a keep box. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's a puppet. I don't want to stick my hand in there because it's been a long time and who knows what's crawled up there. All right, let me look for some more duh clutter. I am just seeing what toys are in here. Oh my goodness, that was so... All right, so this is duh clutter. All my kids know their alphabet. Or at least they better by now. Okay, um, I'm going to say this is duh clutter even though it's a little bit cool. It was a little kid's cake pan. More duh. Um, yeah, I'm not... <clears throat> It's a gorilla. It's not just a head, it's like a um, puppet. So somebody's gonna be excited to find that, right? More toys. And what other toys do I have? Um, one of my kids' preschool tags. I am going to put that in the trash. See how all these things could end up in a keep box? If all you're doing is just going, do I need that? Could I use that? You just stick it all in this box. Well, then it becomes, you know, a doom box. So. I have gotten rid of things that had zero emotional attachment for me. I got rid of trash and I got rid of things that just obviously, oh my word, this needs to go, okay? Now I'm going to go and I'm going to go to the stuff that's not so easy. Here is a book of Sheryl Crow songs. Might I use it? Oh yeah. So I don't ask myself that question. Um, instead, I'm asking myself, if I needed Sheryl Crow sheet music, where would I look for it first? And I go, I don't have an answer for that. So I'm gonna ask myself my second decluttering question that I only ask if I can't answer that first one. And that is, if I needed Sheryl Crow sheet music, would it ever occur to me that I already had Sheryl Crow sheet music? No, it would never occur to me. So I wouldn't go looking for it. Instead, I would Google, order some more, do whatever I had to do, you know, to get some because it wouldn't cross my mind. It was a total surprise to find this book of Sheryl Crow sheet music. Okay. Um, so I'm going to donate it because it would never occur to me that I already had one. So I wouldn't go looking for it. So we might as well get rid of it. Okay. Because otherwise if I needed Cheryl Crow sheet music, I would have ordered a book not knowing I already had one and I would have added to the clutter in my house. So I make that decision. It's just a very concrete way for me to make those hard decisions. Children's favorite songs, easy play guitar, now my brain starts going, well, but I do have a guitar and maybe one of these days I am going to learn how to play it. And then I go, uh, I wouldn't, if I wanted favorite children's songs or songs to play on the guitar, I would not go looking for it. So I looked and now I'm going to ask, and some of it was easy trash. Um, and some of it I'm like, okay, where if I was looking for this a picture of my kid when they were really little, where would I look for it first? Well, I know exactly where I would look for it first. I would look for it with our photos. Here's the key. I'm going to take it there right now. Okay. So I know that doom boxes, when people have been telling me about them, they're saying that people are talking about them in relationship to ADHD. Um, my system, I am told by lots and lots and lots of people works really well for those with ADHD. And I actually did a survey at one point and the number one answer for what of this, my strategies is their biggest game changer. Over 400 people, the number one answer was take it there now. Okay. And this is for people who specifically identified or were diagnosed with ADHD. And it feels counterintuitive. Like I'm actually told often by people who have ADHD that, oh, I couldn't do the take it there now because I would get distracted. When I say take it there now, what I mean is I am going to get up and I'm going to go take this to the place with the photos right now. Like right now, after I give this long speech. But I'm gonna do that in the middle of this project. But if you'll notice, nothing has been waiting for later. I don't have a keep box. I'm dealing with each item by either putting it in the donate box, putting it in the um, trash, or I'm taking it to its home right now. And I determine its home by asking myself the question, where would I look for this first? Here's the reason this works really well, especially for maybe those of us who get really, really distracted. 
a lot of y'all have diagnosed me with ADHD. The reason it works is that if I will take things where they go immediately, I don't have to remember to do something later. I don't have to, I'm not putting myself in a position where if I don't finish, I'm worse off than I was before. Because I used to make all these neat little piles and of where I was gonna put, you know, things I was gonna take to other places eventually when I'm finished. And then I would get distracted and I had all these piles that were outside of the space that I was working on anyway. And now I was in a worse situation than I was in before, which discouraged me from decluttering in the future, okay? So if I will take it there now, it's possible that I'm gonna get distracted on my way back. Even if I do, this space that I'm working on has less in it than it did when I started. And so it's better than it was before. And having less is the definition of decluttering success, okay? I'm not done, but it's better. It has less. So I'm gonna go take it there right now so that when I get distracted, not if, I'm better off than I was before. And that one step makes a huge difference. Now, if you're doing a doom box, my advice is to work on it in the place where just glancing really quickly, not going through every little thing, but glancing really quickly, quickly you think, okay, this stuff, a lot of this stuff would probably go in X space. I would say take it to that space so that the take it there now in its final homes is right where you're working, okay? All right, I'm gonna go take this there right now and I'm gonna leave the video running so that Reed can put up, this is how long she was gone, okay? All right, so I take it there now and earlier when I was working on the same thing, I had found one that is of Reed. Those of y'all who love Reed, that's Reed. And I have to go take it there now. But I have to, because if I don't take it there now, then it's just waiting to be done and it's gonna end up being in its own doom box, doom bag or doom pile. Don't underestimate the power of one small thing being done and over with and you don't have to think about it again. Like it's just there, it's in its home. Pens, oh my word, I'm about done. All trash and a little bit of change. I'm gonna go take the change. This is gonna go to the kids, uh, I mean, to the photo place. Coming at you from the future, from the day after I did this video, um, to show you that um, I finished, okay? So I took that whole box. Oh, it's really okay, I know. <sighs> took this whole box and made it the donate box. So that now this one is empty okay they're both donatable which means this can go straight to the donation center yeah. along with the stuff that's inside of it it already had some stuff in it before i started this project so i'm just here to tell you that i got through the whole box and it was a couple of times of getting up and taking things there now and everything else went in the trash and the donate box and it was over. Um, if you would like a copy of my five-step decluttering process, you can go to aslobcomesclean.com slash five, F-I-V-E, sign up for my newsletter, and you can get a copy of that. Um, also make sure you pre-order organizing for the rest of us. All right, I'll talk to you later.